Hello everyone, my name is David Aragord. I'm a digital rights advocate and researcher from Caracas, Venezuela. And today I'm going to talk about a non-user centric approach to bypass internet censorship in countries like Venezuela. But first, let's talk about the problem. Right now, at least 40 domains belonging to 34 media outlets are being blocked by public and private internet service providers in Venezuela. Almost all these blockings are domain-based and use server name indication filtering or the domain name system. In addition to blocking, other techniques are also used to try to censor the Venezuelan media on the internet, such as distributed denial of services attacks, legal intimidation, or false claims of, of copyright infringement. Censorship circumvention tools are also being blocked since 2014. That includes VPN services like Tunnelbird, Siphon, Windscribe, and also the Tor network. So what can we do about that? Of course, there is this classic approach to promote the use of censorship circumvention tools like VPNs, the Tor network, and others like Sino Browser. But those require actions from the users and not all the people has the knowledge or enough interest to use them. So is that it? For me, the answer is no, we can do better than that. And here is where my fellowship project comes in. It is called Internet Hermits because of the hermit scraps, who use empty shells to protect their bodies and moves from one to another when they need it. It is basically a similar approach to the domain fronting, using content delivery networks and alternative domains to bypass the blocking of websites. With this, we can achieve greater agility to quickly respond to censorship and improve protection against DDoS attacks. And the best part of it is that the final users don't need to take any action. Without a CDN, the original hosting is exposed to attacks and IP-based blocking. But if mirrors of the original website are distributed in a CDN, we can maintain access to the content. And something similar happens with the domains. When one is blocked, we can use another one to replace it. Of course, I'm not creating something completely new. Domain fronting has been around for many years, but since 2018, Amazon and Google doesn't allow their CDNs to be used for domain fronting. So we had to find the correct partner, but we will not disclose its names publicly for strategic reasons. I'm proud to say that with a lot of help, we got some funding and we are about to start a pilot project with five media outlets from Venezuela for one year. I want to thank the Center for International Media System and the Open Internet for Democracy Initiative because with them, this project went from a simple idea to became a reality. To my team at Redes Ayuda for the support with the implementation of, a, of the project. To the Internet Society to allow me to scale this and most important to my mentor, Pablo Arcuri, for making the connections with the right people and supporting me throughout this, this entire process. We are looking for partners to improve our project and take it to another country with a similar context like Cuba. If you want to get involved, please reach me out. I'll be more than happy to dig even more in the details of the project. Thank you.